As you may have seen on my channel, I'm a huge fan of turmeric. Recently, researchers analysed almost 5,000 studies and found that curcumin, the orange pigment in turmeric, blocked the growth of eight types of cancers under laboratory settings. Results showed it was effective at treating breast, lung, blood, stomach, pancreatic, bowel, bone marrow and prostate cancer. They found that curcumin stops nutrients from being transported to tumours and prevents the death of healthy cells by blocking cancer cells from releasing harmful proteins. Now, by 2050, an estimated 135.5 million people worldwide will have dementia. Many forms of dementia are characterised by the presence of toxic clumps of protein in the brain. Alzheimer's disease is a degenerative brain disease and the most common form of dementia. In Alzheimer's disease, these clumps are formed of proteins called amyloid and tau. In a recent interview, I heard Dr. Dean Shazai, a leading behavioural neurologist and neuroscientist, describe another phenomenal benefit of turmeric. So let's take a listen. We used the curcumin, which is a component of turmeric, and gave it to people with mild cognitive impairment and looked at their retina with special devices. And retina is a continuation of the brain. So amyloid protein, which is the bad protein in Alzheimer's, accumulates in the back of the retina and you can see it. And when we gave them curcumin, it actually bound to the amyloid protein. Yeah. So, of course, we don't want to over extrapolate, but we think that means that it's going to bind and it's going to be removed. And, and, and there's some evidence of that as well. Of course, the indoor other evidence for curcumin and turmeric is that they're, we know that they're anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects, so that's why they're great as well. Now, let's hear from Dr. Michael Greger as he explains some amazing research that backs up these findings. An exciting case series was published in 2012. Three Alzheimer's patients treated with turmeric and their symptoms declined along with the burden on their caregivers. Let me show you what these data mean in real lives. Case number one, 83-year-old woman started losing her memory, getting disoriented. Then she started having problems taking care of herself, wandering aimlessly, incontinent. After the turmeric, though, her agitation, apathy, anxiety, and irritability were relieved. She had less accidents. Furthermore, she began to laugh again, and sing again, and knit again. After taking turmeric for more than a year, she came to recognize her family and now lives a peaceful life without a significant behavioral or psychological symptom of dementia. Case 2 was similar, but with hallucinations and delusions and depression, which appeared relieved by turmeric. She began to recognize her family again and now lives in a peacefully serene manner. And the third case, similar as well, including an improvement in cognition. The first demonstration that turmeric may be effective and safe for the treatment of the behavioral and psychological symptoms of dementia in Alzheimer's disease patients. They call it a drug, but it's just a spice you could walk into any grocery store and buy for a few bucks. They were giving people like a teaspoon a day, which comes out to be about 15 cents. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.